What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am the GZ guy. If this is your first time checking in and checking out the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to do so. If you are one of the uh, already subscribed and following, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day as always to come check out the video, show support. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Happy to say we do have a few new followers to the channel. So if you guys are back and checking in, Again, thank you guys so much. I am so excited to continue to grow and go down this path and journey with you guys. With that said, today's video is not going to be what I intended on doing originally for uh, content to get out for you guys, but I think today is an important video. And sometimes we get obstacles, and I, I decided instead of wrenching on some cars and doing that, I had some stuff planned that I want to get this out. I think this is more important. And the reason behind that is, is a lot of you follow me over on Instagram. You know that I've been going through some issues with a car part that I had ordered for the G35 Coupe here. And I just want to give some more in-depth and backstory to it and a better understanding and help you guys in case you ever get into the situation on your options, what to do, what not to do, so on. So with that said, guys, let me bring you up to date in case you're unaware or if you've been following over there on the stories and posts, let's uh, give you the full view of what's going on. So there's a company that I had purchased a carbon fiber shift knob from uh, over on Instagram. And the way it all came to fruition and came to be is it was before I had my Instagram, because I'm fairly new over there. I was, as most of us do, you know, looking through Google, doing some research, checking out the internet, trying to figure out where to obtain some parts for the vision I have for the car. And in doing so, I was trying to find a carbon fiber shift knob for the G35 Coupe that fit the vision I have for the car and the way I want the build to look. And just so you guys are aware, if, if you're not, I want to do more of a modern clean uh, build on the G35 Coupe. I'm not looking to go anything over the top, like wide body or anything like that. I just want to keep it somewhat tasteful and simple and updated. So I was excited when I came across VQ uh, Carbon Customs over while searching the uh, internet because he offered a uh, OEM shift knob redone in carbon fiber with the uh, stock shift pattern and all that good stuff still on it. So I was super excited fast forward a little bit ended up with instagram saw his uh, company over there did some research on reviews everything seemed good reputable so i went ahead and pulled the trigger and ordered the shift knob for 275 dollars which isn't necessarily an egregious amount of money for a car part but for me 275 dollars for a shift knob not cheap but you know when you find that right part Sometimes you got to save up and you, you go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and did that. And this was back in early February. So literally beginning of the year, pretty much. And at that same time, I ordered some other stuff for the uh, interior from Masterpiece Automotive that will be coming up. And, and the reason I'm bringing up both companies is I just want to show the differences between good customer service and bad <laughs> with that said so i understood <clears throat> with both of these companies custom piece made to order i knew they weren't in stock i didn't have an expectation of getting my product the next day the next week with the, even within the month right there you have to have a general understanding and expect and understand that things like that are going to happen so my expectation was obviously they have to take the time and I had mentioned in other videos I had stuff coming up so if you go back through my videos you can kind of see I mentioned and hint to stuff like that that's coming up so moving forward 
I got the confirmation from uh, VQ uh, Carbon Customs. Hey, thanks for your order, all that good stuff. My order number, cool. Everything at that point seems copacetic, seems normal. Not thinking anything, not an issue. Same thing, Masterpiece Automotive, get all that. All right, so with that said, I do wanna say I've bought, and obviously I've showed you guys like some of the carbon fiber stuff on the interior already from Masterpiece Automotive. I have nothing but respect for uh, his company. Definitely guys, if you're looking at stuff, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but like I've told you guys, if, if a company is reputable and good and I believe in the product, I'm gonna let you guys know. So definitely go check him out over on Instagram. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, a little sidetrack, but so time goes on, all right? And I get updates from Masterpiece. I DM him. He responds to me typically within honestly like an hour, if not sooner. Uh, I've had a couple, you know, within a day at the longest. Super, you know, super respectful, super nice. Hey, he's understanding like, yep, this is where we're at getting the piece made. This is the part of the process it's in. Uh, here's the expected time for it to come out. You know, all the stuff that you'd expect after dropping your, your hard-earned money with a company. And whether you're spending a dollar or a thousand dollars, that's good customer service. They want to keep you happy. And you have the right. At that point, you've already paid in full. You've given the money. Product's yours. You're just waiting for it to be done so it gets put into your hands, right? So with VQ Carbon Customs, as we're moving forward, I hear nothing. I get that initial, hey, here's your order number. Here's your order confirmation. And that's it. So I go onto the website, I call the phone number, I listen to the voicemail, which it's a, a small business, it's individually owned, it's one dude, I understand that, he doesn't, he makes it sound like it's this big company, it's not, it's one dude making his carbon fiber pieces, which is cool, I respect that, I get it, but it states on his, uh, his voicemail uh, for uh, service, replies or whatever, email, at VQ Carbon Customs, so on and so forth. It has, go ahead and uh, leave a voice message or for quickest response, sorry guys, there's a truck going by. Uh, I deal live out in the country and they're doing some work. So sorry about that. But anyway, he says for the quickest response, uh, DM me on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool, whatever. I do that. Now mind you, this is probably about two three months after i had ordered my shift knob nothing literally nothing and all i'm asking at this point is hey do we have any updates i haven't heard anything back from you where are we at in the process are you getting them made so on and so forth so i reach out to him through all avenues probably about a dozen times and i get a phone call one day I'm at work, um, my job, I don't necessarily get a lot of downtime. It, we're not gonna get in anyway. So the downtime I do have, I'm able to take the phone call and we have a quick discussion and he explains to me, oh yeah, you know, it's been on back order. I haven't been getting the OEM knobs in so I can make them, but I wanna send you the best one I can and this, that, and the other, but I have two right now if you want one that's not quite what you ordered and this and that, I'm like, no, I'm willing to take the time to get the one I ordered. I appreciate it. I understand things come up, not a problem. So I'm thinking everything's good. He sends me a couple pictures via text of a couple options. I'm like, cool, I'll go with this one. And he's like, oh, not a problem. I assure you we'll get that out, blah, blah, blah. All right, little, little hinky, cause it's taken a while, whatever. Figure he's busy dude, fulfilling orders, whatever. Benefit of the doubt, right? So here we go again. I hear nothing. I'm supposed to hear back from him. He assures me this is going to get sent out and that, you know, COVID and all this kind of junk. Like, cool. I get it. I've, I've in some other videos, again, I've talked about like Concept Z and some issues there through, excuse me, um, you know, their, their vendors and stuff. So I get things happen. I don't, 
I, it's not like I expect, like, I need it now, give it to me now. No, I'm, I'm super chill, laid back about it. So here we are now, pretty much seven months later, and I've been completely ghosted all the way around. I, like I said, have continued to reach out on Instagram, emails, uh, phone calls, voice messages left. Everything from, hey man, I just want an update. Where, where are we at in the process? I just need to know what's going on. And then finally I got to the point where I'm like, all right, here's the deal. Either you need to send me my product, you need to give me an update, or I want my, my beeping money back. You know, I'm getting irritated, rightfully so. Still nothing. So this process goes on for a while. I literally trying to get a hold of this guy weekly at that point to the point now where it's almost been daily. So I'm not typically the kind of person I want to do honest reviews and give you guys info and stuff like that. That I don't have a problem with that. But I'm also, like I said, pretty understanding about stuff. But I'm like, all right, we're at the point where people have the right and deserve and need to know this dude is just full of, and the part of my language, but full of shit. Just a complete, complete jerk. All right. So in starting to post about it a little bit, reach out to some people, people getting at me, I find out that's what this dude does. I'm not the only one. I figured as much, but I'm starting to hear all these stories about people ordering steering wheels and I had to try to get a hold of them daily and I waited a year and this and I'm like what in the hell is going on so obviously he can control what he wants posted on his pages and website and stuff and I'm like all right you're not going to control what I post and again I'm not saying I'm like some righteous better than whatever but no I'm going to be the voice and I'm going to tell you guys the point of all this is <laughs> Do not, if you want to not get ripped off, you don't want to get scammed, don't waste your time, don't waste your money, and if somehow this video comes across you, Mr. VQ Carbon Customs, shame on you. It's people like you that ruin it for all the good small businesses out there and reputable companies. And you need to rethink yourself, my guy. I'm not going to stand for it. I've had a lot of really great support from followers, spreading the word. And the one thing I can guarantee in the VQ community, the Infinity community, the Nissan community is we are a family overall. And we're not going to stand for that bullshit. And we'll let people know who and what you're about. So... Again, I don't wish ill will on anybody. I'm not trying to spread hate. I'm trying to spread awareness. But this dude doesn't deserve anybody's business. Until he can take some time and reflect and get himself together and get his stuff right. And fix all the wrongs that I guarantee he's done to countless people. I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not going to support it. I can promise you as soon as I either get my money back or my product, uh, I'm going to have nothing to do with them. I'm going to continue to try to forewarn others about that, but uh, it's a shame. So with that said, guys, I did purchase through PayPal. I do have a claim going. Um, I'm in the process right now where I have to wait until the uh, 7th of next month. So we're here in July, so the 7th of August. Uh, this knucklehead has time to respond to my claim, so on and so forth. Honestly, I don't see that happening. If it does, I mean, I'm going to keep you guys updated. And if he wrongs his rights or whatever, again, I'm not, I'm not going to lie or make stuff up or anything like that i'll tell you what the outcome is or where we're at and what's going on but at this point just complete waste of time complete waste of money super disappointing um 
you know, like I said, I'm, I'm understanding the fact things take time. I, that All that aside, it's just, what a joke. What an absolute, what a joke. I don't even know how to put it. Uh, so let's jump ship from that, that complete waste of uh, space to Masterpiece Automotive. Um, I do got to clean the car. I apologize for that. But as you can see, even through the window, the uh, carbon pieces I've already got installed from him phenomenal they're holding up there's no uh, sun fading anything like that i've got a couple other pieces coming from him uh, for the interior something for under the hood got some ideas of some things i'm gonna reach out and see about getting made and uh guys if you're if you're looking for some custom pieces stuff like that again i mean i'm not promoted or anything like that by him but man i want to give a huge shout out and a plug dude's been on top of the game i still haven't got my stuff from him but you know what i'm getting updates i could right now go over and dm him or call and i can promise you before this day is over i would hear back he doesn't get annoyed about it it's not like i'm constantly hitting him up but you know time goes by like i said it was around the same time that i made that order but again i'm not mad about it i understand it takes time he sends pictures he lets me know what's going on phenomenal customer service even concept z huge shout out to them as well um back when i had ordered all the stuff that i still got to get on the car which was part of what i wanted to do today i had a couple things i was going to put on but i think this is more important we can wrench on the car at any time i want to make sure people are aware of what's going on before they uh, like i said drop their uh hard-earned coin and uh just get a headache that it can be avoided um but even them, I reached out because we were having some issues when I was trying to get my drive line. They had everything else from my order, you know, ready to go. My exhaust, my headers, this, that, and the other. Um, pretty good customer service. It took a little bit longer for them to get back to me. I understand that. It's a bigger company. But they're on top of their game. And even when I made the phone call, I was like, hey, you know, this is what you told me last time. They upgraded my drive line to a better one than what I had purchased and ordered. It cost a little bit more money. But the sales rep, unfortunately, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. He's like, hey, man, let me help you get your order and let's make this right. He, you know, got into his magic computer box and he's like, look, I've got this sitting right here in my warehouse. It costs a little bit more. And I'm like, dude, but I, I don't have the extra. And he's like, no, it's on us. You have been waiting. You've been patient. He's like, let us cover the cost for that. And he sent out some decals. Um, he sent out... A magnet that was pretty cool he sent out uh, the lanyard that i now carry right there on my keys the concept z1 and you know what he's got himself a faithful customer or they do and that's the way business should be remember there's got to be a expectation i know this video is running long guys but again this is important to me and i think it should be important to you what you can do if you run into this just to try to wrap it up again because like i said it, we're running a little long but Make sure you keep copies and notes of phone calls, documentation you receive back for emails, your uh, payment stubs, whether it be through your bank or through PayPal, anything like that. Anytime I do stuff, I always, always, always screenshot, back it up, and save it. That way I have record of what's going on in case you run into this. You can contact your bank. You can contact PayPal. You can contact... Obviously, the first thing you want to do is contact the seller and try to work out with them in an amicable way. But unfortunately, there's some bad people out there that are just looking to reach into your pockets and take from you and give nothing back in return. And that is some complete bullshit. And again, guys, I want this channel to be positive. I want this to be community. I want this to be a fun place where you can take typically five to ten minutes out of your day get some enjoyment like i said we're running it 18 minutes here long video i apologize but again it's important to me and i think it's something that needs to be shared and be put out there and i want to be the voice for all of us and i want us to join together when stuff like this happens so with that said guys i legitimately do appreciate each and every one of you if you can do me a favor i want to spread the word to make sure this doesn't happen to other people please share this video if None of my other ones, great, grand, whatever. 
this one let's get the word out there guys let's uh make sure this doesn't happen to our fellow friends and uh car enthusiasts and i do mean it from the bottom of my heart guys when i say the most important thing you can do be kind to each other you guys stay safe i will see you on the next one i appreciate you guys later